Hello YouTube and welcome to this part. If we can get this thing to focus. Focus. Most of these spot welds were done by reaching in there. And the front was. I just got done with the front. So I got this. I had the flashlight on. Like this. Even when I was welding. So I could see better. Turn my brightness on my helmet. I usually run about 11. I turned it down to 10 which is kind of hard on the eyes. I wanted to see everything. So I hope these welds don't interfere and I put a little, I want to put like a uh, frame in there and I don't want to drill through and hit one of them welds. What I did first, I welded like two pieces together like this square, right? If you can follow me, then two pieces like this square, then stuck them together, then reached in and welded. So I only had to weld two of these sides. But all this had to reach in there and each time I had to cut that little ball off. See the little ball you get on the wire? I had to cut that off so it was nice and clean. Because that's ground, and that piece had paint on the ground off it. You talk about smoke rolling in your face. You've got your head stuck inside this little box. But we'll take a break, get this all when it cools down, and we'll flip around and show you how we made it oversized so we can grind it so it's all smooth. So stay tuned for that part. Okay, see where the spot weld missed here and the heat didn't get there? Both sides, like there. Move this back. This thing's still a little warm. But it's good enough for a stove. You want the heat to penetrate both sides. See where it did not get here at all. Here it really got a lot. Okay, now this was cut out of the corner of a piece of scrap that had been cut before. Okay, so this is the corner that was cut before. I cut this corner this morning. So that's where I lined up. I left it overhang just a little bit. So when I sand it, it's smooth. This I kind of messed up. It's the wrong spots overhanging. Like this is overhanging. Can you see that? It'll be smooth. But over here, there's a lot. So we'll take our... 60 grit or whatever first and do that and like on the bottom you can see where I, it overhangs yeah I'm still blinded it's like snow blinded you shouldn't do that with welding but that is a good tip there's your tip of day if, if you're in somewhere like this that's what it looks like with a helmet on or worse this is what it was like when I was welding. Even when I was welding, I had a lot of light because I left a flashlight in there, okay? It was one of my cheapy, junky ones. Dollar store type one. I said, there's going to be a frame on here with holes drilled through, so I hope none of that weld is in the way. I'll just have to put a longer bolt because I know I can drill through it. So... We'll probably keep this part kind of short. We're going to do a design change. Okay. We spent a lot of time on this. But that's the way it happens. We are not going to have this rectangle. If this is three inches, this is what we're going to make this square. The frame square and the door square. It's going to be a lot easier. Because there's going to be a ledge down around the bottom anyway. We're only cheating the thing maybe a quarter inch on the height. If you look at it, see the distance from here to here to the circle, from here to here. We're going to be cheating about And there's going to be a little ledge coming off the front of here. And that's going to be have a little round piece of metal on the top or something to catch the ashes. So it's going to set up there a little way so it'll look okay. Just, I racked my brain figuring this out. I know this is, you're going to, if you draw this stuff, you're probably going to be drawing it more than once. Okay, here's the idea. I can put a simple door on here, but I want to make a door frame with my little bolts to make it look neat. And then here's the door, okay? Right here is actual width of the metal, half inch clear to here. So the door overlaps an eighth of an inch. I'm thinking about making this out of aluminum. And if I don't like it shiny, I'll just paint it. Because it's giving me aluminum with the bolts in it. And I know it'll handle the heat. And my hinges will be welded out in this area. This is metal. This will be the stove part. 
it's going to be welded out here the hinges are and welded to the door so this does does not have to be welded it'll be bolted so we're going to try it with aluminum if it don't work i think we'll just make one back door because i'm not going to spend you know a month on a little project like this this has been more days than you think this has been like half a week get rid of i can't get it turned off and yeah, one other ex episode i don't know what was i explained about the holes in this spinner thing you make these holes make sure when you turn it right here to shut it off your holes aren't too big and it goes to a blank spot on the door because you'll be drilling all the way through here say this is open the holes will if you're going to make one and make sure you turn and just you got to be good with the compass and take your time and almost anybody can learn how to do this stuff draw stuff this to me this is chicken scratching I'm embarrassed to show some of my drawings. It's been erased and colored, and then I still got to redo it. So, before it gets real long, we're going to go out and take a break. We're going to grind all this all smooth and buff it off and then show you what it looks like. This is just 120 disc final. I may not even paint this thing. I'm, I'm thinking about not even painting it. Just buff it up and use it. Um, it's not going to be chrome looking, but you know what paint's like it's just gonna burn off so we'll see let's take a break i've had about enough of the heat outside so i'm gonna sit back here in the fan take a break and then i'll be back to show you when it's all buffed and shiny okay we're done for the day and this is square as you can make it square for a stove it's pretty even I just picked this size stove because this is what metal I had. It was already this wide. It was long enough to make all this. Oh, this is thicker. It's 8 inch. This is 5 30 seconds. I didn't want the front to warp because it's going to have a big hole in it. And that's all I had. I've run out of 8 minutes. So it's a good excuse, right? You can't really tell if it's painted you want it. And I marked it here to where the bottom is. See the little dots? That's the bottom at the back. The back will be inset and welded from the outside when I'm all done. Pretty brave doing this because I have to put the, but like I said, the hole for the door can does not have to be perfect. It's gonna have a frame. That's another reason. But the door to you're not gonna see if the hole's off a little bit. So it's gonna be a bunch of holes drilled, the cutter blade, get in there and cut it. The frame will be made first, is what I want to do. It's not a mirror shine, but it's pretty clean. And this was a very good piece of metal. It was super nice. The other side was rusted. I had it on my desk once, used it for something, but there you go. We're out of here. Look for the pictures. Thanks for watching.